Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And um, I was doing some work where I needed a, a good strap wrench. Um, I was uh, pulling out water filters and I needed something that could grab them and twist them uh, because they were screwed into, into a treatment. It wasn't this particular one, but this one I have handy in my shop. Um, so I picked up this Klein grip it snap wrench or strap wrench excuse me and what this thing is if you haven't used a strap wrench is simply a strap that um, kind of locks in place and then gives you a lever arm so if I wrapped it around something like this cinched it up just like that you can see that I now can apply a fairly amount fairly large amount of pressure to um, what I'm trying to turn. They are directional, of course. Now, I did notice this one is marketed as Grip It, made in the USA. It does not say Klein anywhere on this thing, but that S-6H, um, that's a six inch handle for a strap wrench because they make larger ones too. Um, I saw also marketed now as not made in the US, made in China. Um, and it had the Klein name on it. So this must be one of the earlier just straight rebranding ones, although the, the date on this I noticed uh, is 2018. Um, and USA made global components. For USA made, there sure is a lot of forging marks on it, and I think I'm gonna probably have to, you know, do a little cleanup work on this aluminum handle. You can see all the shavings falling off because there's a pretty good Kind of a sharp little edge there. But anyway, um, I started looking up, um, I used to have some other strap wrenches that were more fabric-y and they just never worked right. Um, a lot of people use these for you know, oil filters or all kinds of plumbing pipes, things like that. But what I decided to do was grab a, um, a uh, aluminum can and add a little bit of the, the, uh, the um, strap movement to it to see, so I'm gonna, it's right now, um, but there's no crushing on the can. But I, what I was curious about is the, the distribution of the force and whether or not it was equal around the can or there was really a kind of a hot spot. So you can see here, as I, as I cinch this up, it's nice and round, but the moment I start adding some force to it, you can see it is pushing really hard in one spot. Um, and that is a, a concern, especially if you're working with things like this is a plastic or PVC tube, this uh, Epic um, Smart Shield water filter. Um, so as I put this thing on and squeeze, you know, they're tremendously strong. Um, I'm, I have to be very careful that this little part right here doesn't bust the thing that I'm working on. But other than that, this does seem like a solid tool. This is very grippy. Um, way better than the previous ones I've had. Um, but um, the price wasn't too bad. I think it was around 20 bucks. And uh, the quality looks solid, except it's just not finished very well, but I can clean that up myself. Um, and it's a Klein tool. Although I want to figure out more about why Klein sells the uh, Chinese made one now um, instead of the made in USA one. And with that, Doc out.